Hey, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to hook up your Google Chromecast to use your mobile internet data from your phone. Now the first thing that I want to mention is it's going to require two devices, okay? It doesn't matter if it's an iPhone or Android phone or whatever, okay? So basically what you have to do is you're going to have to replace your home Wi-Fi internet. Now in order to do that, you have to enable hotspot on one of those phones, okay? So for instance, if I go ahead and enable hotspot on this iPhone right here, and then I go ahead and hook up my Google Chromecast to use this connection, then this is basically only like my Wi-Fi router. Now what I have to do is go ahead and get like another phone or another device and go ahead and download the Google Home app. This way you're able to set up or basically have the Google Chromecast connect to the hotspot phone. So for instance, if I wanted to cast like a uh, Netflix video or YouTube video on this phone here while this one is set up as the Wi-Fi, I have to go ahead and connect this phone to the Wi-Fi hotspot on this phone. And then once I have it set up that the Chromecast knows that the Wi-Fi hotspot is connected to this phone, then any other phone that I use, as long as it is connected to the same Wi-Fi hotspot on this original phone, they will be able to cast. Now, why in the world would you do this? Well, very simple, okay? First thing is, you may not have Wi-Fi in your house. Another great reason is, what if you go camping? Or what if you're in your car? As long as you have a TV or some kind of monitor, even a computer monitor, even a projector, as long as you have an HDMI port on that TV or computer monitor, anything, we can go ahead, as soon as we set this up to hook up the here, we can unplug this and we can plug it into another device in the desert, in the park, wherever. As long as our computer monitor, obviously, or TV or projector, it has power to actually turn on. I'm going to go ahead and set everything up from the very beginning, okay? Of course, you can use a Google Chromecast 1, the first generation, the second generation, even the third generation. It doesn't matter. They all work the same. Basically, one is just a tad faster than the other. But this one here, the first generation, it's like $10, $15 now on eBay. If you want the new third generation uh, Chromecast, I got this one for like $30 or $35 on Amazon. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and hook it up to my TV here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and plug the micro USB part into my Chromecast here. And then I'm going to plug the HDMI part here on the back of my TV. And I also have a USB plug here that's basically going to give this power. So let's go ahead and plug this in right now. Okay, so HDMI, I'm just going to plug it into any HDMI port on the back of my TV here. And here's the US and here's the USB plug here. I do have a open USB slot on here. If I didn't have a USB slot here on my TV, I can simply just plug this into a wall outlet or somewhere else, okay? So let me just plug that in here. All right, we're good to go there. So now I'm gonna turn on my TV here. Now I have to go to the correct HDMI port where the Chromecast is hooked up to. So go into inputs or source. And I need to go, obviously I only have one HDMI port in the, that's plugged in and that's the only one that's highlighted HDMI 4. So I can go down here or I can go up here. Anyways, it's the same thing. I'll just go to HDMI 4 since uh, that one's like highlighted. So I'm gonna tap on that. Now I already have this Google Chromecast already set up to my home Wi-Fi network here. So what I'm gonna do is a factory reset on my Google Chromecast here, which only takes like two or three minutes. It's very, very simple. Now to do a factory reset on a Google Chromecast, if you looked at any of them, there's basically one button on these. Okay, there's one button here and on here as well, there's one button here. Okay, while I'm giving it power, I'm gonna press and hold this button here and you see this solid light on here? I'm gonna press and hold and I'm just gonna keep holding it until the light turns solid, okay, until it stops blinking, just wait. Wait, okay, right there. Now I can go ahead and let go. And you can see from the TV itself, it's going to start doing a factory reset. The thing is, you don't actually have to have the Chromecast plugged in via HDMI port. As long as you just give it power through the USB, you can press and hold that button until the uh, light turns solid, then you can go ahead and plug it in if you wish. But if you do leave it plugged into the HDMI port on the TV or monitor or whatever, then, uh, then you'll be able to see what's going here on the screen as well. Okay, so when the factory reset is complete, basically you get this setup beginning page here. And this is just like as if you bought the Chromecast brand new, took it right out of the box and plugged into the back of your TV. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hook up this phone here as the hotspot. This is a, uh, 
a Apple phone here. Again, it doesn't matter if it's an Android or an iPhone or a Windows phone, whatever. But I do have a SIM card in this phone right now, okay? So for the iPhones, just go into your settings here. And then you want to tap on personal hotspot right there. So to turn it on, I go ahead and toggle uh, personal hotspot on. And the name of this personal hotspot is going to be Verge. That's the name of my phone on my iPhone. You can, Of course, you can change the name of your iPhone as well. With the Android phones, you'll be able to rename it whatever you want right there on the fly. And down here is a Wi-Fi password. I just made the password very easy, okay? One through eight, very, very simple. So now on this phone is a hotspot. It's currently enabled. Any other phone can go ahead through the Wi-Fi settings and find my hotspot called Verge and connect to it and use my mobile data from this phone to connect to the internet, okay? Now, if you're on an Android phone, you just want to look for a mobile hotspot. Uh, generally, I mean, just go into your settings somewhere. And this is a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus here, but you can see when I stroll down here, it says mobile hotspot right there. And there's many other ways that you can navigate to it as well. Even if you just click on the settings here, you can go ahead and click on connections here. And then we can see mobile hotspot and tethering right there. So you can tap on that. And then from here, you can go ahead and turn it on, rename the hotspot, whatever you want, make the password, whatever you want as well, okay? So again, on this iPhone, I have mobile hotspot enabled, okay? So this is basically our wireless router, okay? Now, the next thing is to get any other phone. Again, doesn't matter if it's an Android phone or an iPhone. I'll just go ahead and use an Android phone this time. I'll use that Samsung Galaxy S8 here. So what I got to do on this phone now is I have to go ahead and download the Google Home app, okay? So I'm going to go into my Play Store here, and I'm going to do a search for Google Home, which is right here. Tap on that. Again, it doesn't matter if you're going to download this app on an iPhone or Android phone. It doesn't matter, okay? So here's the Google Home. I'm going to go ahead and install it. Okay, so it's downloaded. Let me go ahead and open this up. And now what I have to do is basically set up the Chromecast to communicate with the with my iPhone here, which is basically like the Wi-Fi wireless router, okay? So I'll click on open here. I'm gonna to have to go through the setup process. I'll click on get started here. I'll use one of my email addresses that I have on this phone. I'll just go with this one here. I'll click on okay. And from here, I'm gonna click on add another home. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that. And then click on next. Now let me go ahead and set up a nickname here. I'll just name it something. Uh, we'll just name it hi. Click on next. Okay, location access. We're gonna go ahead and click on next here. Sure, I'll just allow that. Give it a second here. It's looking for devices. Okay, so it found my device. It said, would you like to set up Chromecast 7166, which is the same number down here on my TV as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on yes. Okay, so it says connected, and now it's giving me this code down here, R8S8. Do I see that on my TV? Yes, I do. So I'm going to go ahead back to my phone here. I'm going to go ahead and click on yes, and then I'm going to click on yes, I'm in. And now it's asking me where is this device located. I'll just put backyard. Click on next. Okay, so now it's asking me to connect to a Wi-Fi. Okay, now I do have my uh, home Wi-Fi on here, but the thing is what I want to do is I want to connect to this phone here, okay, using a hotspot from this phone. So the name of this hotspot is Verge, V-I-R-G. So I have to look for V-I-R-G on here to connect to that phone. So here it is right here. I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. And then I'm going to put that ridiculous password I just put in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'm going to go ahead and con connect. And it says connecting to Wi-Fi Verge which is my phone that I have the hotspot currently turned on. Okay, now it says almost done on my TV. Let me go ahead and click on next here on the phone. Staying a no with the latest features, nah, no thanks. Then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. And now it says backyard TV is ready. And I'll go ahead and click on continue. Now we are ready to go. Everything is set up, okay? So now what I can do is I can go ahead and unplug this Google Chromecast. I can go in the desert, plug it into another TV or any computer monitor, 
or any other device that has the HDMI port. And, and as long as I have my hotspot turned on this phone, anybody that connects to my Wi-Fi hotspot is going to be able to use the Chromecast. The only thing is, is that the phone that we enabled hotspot on, you will not be able to use Google Chromecast because this is solely pretending to be a wireless Wi-Fi router. But any other device you get, as long as that device is hooked up to your hotspot, they'll be able to use Chromecast. So this Galaxy S8 here, this is the phone that I downloaded the Google Home app. Downloading the Google Home app was only so that I can hook up the Chromecast to make sure that it connects to this phone here's hotspot. So from here, of course, I can open up Netflix. I can go to YouTube here. We'll open up a YouTube right now. And I'll just go ahead and click uh, one of my old videos here. And now here's the uh, casting icon on the top right hand side. I'll just tap on that and it says right now automatically connecting to the backyard TV. And let's see what this one is here. And you can see it playing right there. Okay, now let's do this too. Let's just say that we're all in a car driving across country or maybe we're all in a desert. But we have a TV or a monitor where that same Google Chromecast is hooked up to right now. So anybody else that has another phone, tablet, iPad, another device, if they want to be able to go ahead and cast or basically use Chromecast, they, the only thing they have to do first is just connect to the mobile hotspot on this supposedly wireless router that we have here. So let me just grab another phone here, okay? So here's a uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 here. Let me go ahead and log into this phone here. So if I wanted to use the Chromecast or Cast uh, whatever, I would have to first go ahead and go into my Wi-Fi settings here. Turn it on, and then I have to look for that Wi-Fi hotspot called Verge. Hey, what do you know? There it is right there. Let me go ahead and connect to that. That's going to ask me for that password again. I'll put in the password. I'm going to go ahead and connect. Okay, I'm connected. Now we can go ahead and watch Netflix. I can go ahead and do a YouTube video. Let me pop up another YouTube video. And right now is basically using the internet from the mobile data on this phone here, okay? And then from here, I mean, here's the casting icon up here. Let's go ahead and tap on that. Backyard TV, we'll go ahead and select that. Now any video that we want to watch, I'll just tap on this one here. And then I'll press on play. Hey, what is going on, guys? And so there you go. So again, I am using the mobile data directly from this phone right here. This is acting as a wireless router, okay? And like I said, we can go ahead and come right over here. I have everything hooked up. I know that this Google Chromecast wants to use this phone here's Wi-Fi hotspot, okay? So now I can go ahead and just unplug this bad boy just like this. We can go ahead and go into your car right now, plug this into your TV, make sure to give it power, Make sure that you have your hotspot turned on here. And then anybody else with any device, any other phone or whatever, as long as they connect to your Wi-Fi hotspot, they'll be able to cast movies and Netflix, YouTube, games, whatever. Anyways, I hope that was pretty clear. If you guys have any questions, just comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.